In this video, I'm going to show you how to protect some someone's identity by changing their voice in Premiere. This one is really quick and easy to do. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, and as you can see, I've got this video on my timeline with some audio attached. Let's play this back to hear how this sounds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your widescreen videos and edit. It's just a standard tutorial. It's one of these educational videos of me talking to camera. Now, the first step is to unlink the audio from the video. So I'm just going to right click, unlink. So this means we can just affect the audio and not have to worry about the video settings appearing up here. Now we're going to go into effects and we're just going to search for pitch. And that should load up pitch shifter. We'll drop that onto our audio and then we'll go into the effect controls window, go down to audio, pitch shifter and select edit. Now you can go ahead and use one of these presets. So you can go for Angry Gerbil, Deathly Ill, Stretch, or The Dark Lord. So Angry Gerbil, as you could probably predict, is going to go up. I'm going to show you how to take your widescreen videos and export those as a vertical. Or alternatively, we can go down. So we can go for The Dark Lord. And as you can tell, that's going to sound quite dark. That does sound a little bit too much, though, in my opinion. So you can go for maybe Deathly Ill. And export those as a vertical video. And that's just going to pull that down a little bit, but it's not doing too much to protect the voice. If you've heard me talk before, you'd probably guess that was me. So what I'm going to do is go for default and then we'll go down into the pitch transpose section here. And this is just our manual control. So we can pull this down in semitones or cents. So if we're trying to lower our audio, so if we're trying to make it deeper, we'll just drag this over to the left. We'll just drag those both over. That is extremely deep. So you can just go ahead and correct that by pulling that over to the right a little. And that sounds good. You wouldn't guess that that was me talking. Now we'll move across and we'll go up the octave. So we'll go all the way over to the right. Export those as a vertical video. You can go ahead and push that even further. There you go. The voice is now protected. And of course, as an extra layer of security, we can even go into effects again and we can search for parametric equalizer. We'll drop that onto our audio. We'll go into edit and then you can see we've got HP and LP. This is a high pass and a low pass filter. So we'll select both of those. We'll drag these into the center a little. So we'll drag that low pass over. And there you go. The voice is now successfully concealed and privacy is no longer an issue. If you knew who I was and you heard that audio, you wouldn't necessarily think that that was me talking. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.